Um, what the School Research Partnership Office is all about is really trying to expand the nature of research collaborations between universities like Duke and, and uh, local public school systems. Um, so this year uh, we're working with our partners in the Durham Public Schools, in the Orange County Schools, in the North Carolina School of Science and Math, uh, among others. And, and what this project is all about is, is matching uh, bright, talented, uh, hard-working undergraduates who are interested in educational issues with leaders uh, in our school systems who have questions that they really want to get the answers to, that they want to get the best possible information they can in order to make decisions that affect their, uh, their students. Um, and tonight at this meeting, uh, our students are sharing their, their work um, with uh, all of the community partners as, as well as uh, their student colleagues and, and other folks uh, from the university. What's really interesting about motivational interviewing is that it's not, you know, we need to do this. Like you have to throw their questions Dr. Johnson, who's the lead psychologist in DPS, had this question of why African Americans, specifically males, are being over identified as needing special education in Durham. We just have a diversity of needs among the students, so it's hard to find a common um, enough method of grouping so that all students' needs are met. Um, so that's why we, this, this recommended strategy of mixed age mixability is more about flexibility than finding the right answer. Is that no, that's over their lifetime. That's over uh, the course of the student's time. That was probably the most surprising statistic. Let me just say, um, I can't say enough good things about the research projects that I've seen out here today. I mean, uh, the students, you did a great job explaining them. That was very interesting. And the thing that's really good is they're practical, helpful to us. And often in the public schools, we get so busy on the hamster wheel or just busy, busy, and don't or don't have the staff to be able to do or to ask fundamental questions and to see if we're getting the results that we are in our programs or identifying the problems and then trying to uh, you know come up with some practical, everyday solutions that work. So I really think that's great. Being a Carolina fan, <laughs> I got to say, Duke has it going on. This week. <laughs> I would say that quite honestly, not for the and. Uh, uh, I think you really understand the importance of a strong K-12 public school system in this country. It's critical, particularly as we're starting to get more and more criticism from politicians and other individuals or policymakers who don't understand the linkage between the, the economic benefits or the social benefits of having an excellent K-12 system. I know a little smaller and all the time middle school, like something like a support group with guidance counselors. I think this kind of project would normally be a little bit harder, but because um, it's a topic I chose and something I was already passionate about, um, it made it easier to put in the hard work and uh, really pursue it with a lot of effort and enjoy it too.